Good morning, everybody. It's March 15th, 2023 in Big Bear, California. Hope you guys are doing well. I'm doing all right. Didn't sleep well because I was I was literally up. I had my alarm wake me up every 30 minutes to look outside to see if it would transition to snow. And it, it didn't all night. It got down to 34 degrees at one point. I thought I'd get lucky, but I didn't. However, in a little bit, we're supposed to get a little snow. How? But this is what I uh, wanted to do is just show you guys a little update on uh, what happened overnight. We, we got a lot of rain overnight. It felt like a lot of rain because it was loud and all night. <laughs> um, we do have a little more precipitation coming into town shortly in the form of a, a wintry mix and then snow. But we're, we're, it's gonna be less than an inch, nothing, nothing special. It'll just be nice to get that type of uh, weather again because all of this rainy stuff when it's really cold really stinks I'm, I'm not a, I'm not a fan of really cold rain and we have my wife with with us today say hi wife hello everybody <laughs> welcome to the channel welcome to the channel so uh then yeah I, I'm actually wearing one of her beanies I'm not very happy about yeah, it yes she is she isn't thrilled but I was like I want them to see which different ones I have because I can't afford to be wearing like, stole my last brown beanie too. And like opening up brand new beanies and stuff, I just can't afford to. Just like like those have to be sold. Like that's you know so. It's a good color for you though, babe. You're really good in it. Thanks, babe. I appreciate that. Checks in the mail. <laughs> yeah, guys. So uh, yeah, this is incredible how little snow remains. And. Uh, how did the snow feel for you when you walked around the house uh, under the untouched snow this morning, babe? Was it, the house, yeah, it was yeah, slushy. like really, really slushy? Mm -hmm. Did it feel like, like extra wet type of slushy or? Mm -hmm. oh, okay, all right. Um. Or, like, it, if you're going skiing, would it would it be something you would you, you'd be like, oh, this sucks, and slushy, yes. or or this stinks? No, Sorry, definitely it would. This be. stinks. Okay, okay. Well, we're in the village, you guys, and it's pretty, pretty dead darn dead. It's still groovy. It, that's true. It's 930 exactly, 42 degrees. It really feels much colder out there. I don't know why. I mean, it feels a lot colder out there. Well, in about two hours, pro probably close to noon, close to lunchtime, we're supposed to get some... Uh, as I said, like a wintry mix transitioning transitioning into just all snow. In the afternoon, everything looks like it's gonna be done from this storm at about four or five o'clock today on March 15th. It's it's Wednesday, March 15th, right, babe? Let me just make sure. Mm -hmm. Yep, Wednesday, March 15th. We were just on Pine Knot, now we're on Village Drive. You guys enjoy what I do. You guys know what to do. Please like, subscribe. Oh, yeah, and then share it also. That would really help us out a lot, or help. Yeah. Yeah. yeah if you guys are, are loving what you're watching and you want somebody else to love and watch it too, share it. Um, it's so fun. It um, is. What is it? Sharing is caring. <laughs> Sharing is caring. <laughs> <laughs> That's really hard for me to say. You obviously know I don't share very much. <laughs> <laughs> she actually does. I do. Is that little um, dome thing across the lake that we see that little white thing? That's that the, yes, about? Okay. yes. Oh, you know what, guys? I forgot to tell you. So uh, a friend of mine, his name is Nick. He's he's from France, and he, this guy, he he run the solar observatory. <laughs> and he want to take us for for do video there. <laughs> he doesn't talk like that, does he? Does he, he have a French accent? I'm trying my best French accent possible, <laughs> and it's horrible. Obviously, I sound more like George Saint Pierre. <laughs> 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 when you fight in the UFC, you 
sounded like you were choking on something. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. I think French accents are, are absolutely adorable. But yeah, Nick's a super, super, super sweet person. Really, really nice guy. And apparently I had no idea after knowing him for so many years that among amongst other things he does, he actually runs the, the solar observatory up here. Like runs it, he like heads it up. So um, we're gonna go do a video over there guys. And he's gonna let us in exclusively to record inside and uh, just check it all out. And uh, I'm sure I can I can ask him question after question to get the cool answers about how they do things in there, what it's all about, and why. Another reason that really interests me, besides the fact that I want to show you guys everything about this town and things to do, and uh, is because my uncle Theodore Clark, Ted Clark, he's he's, he's I, I think he's 85 years old now, 86 years old still all his wits with him one of the smartest men ever he's he's been with jpl for many 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 years and he's the one who built and designed the heat shield for the galileo if anybody knows what that is look it up on on um, google galileo and uh, you'll be i think you guys will be very impressed that's my uncle yes i have an old uncle but my dad is nine he's 91 years old and, and, and my mom is 80 years old. She'll be 81 in August. I was a mistake. I was born 10 and a half years after my next sibling and there's seven of us. I'm the baby of seven. The youngest of seven kids. That's the exact same uh, age difference between Taylor and Lorenzo. Crazy, huh? Yeah, yeah, see, there's, yeah. Taylor and Lorenzo are, are my children. <laughs> But yeah guys anyway we are on big bear boulevard this is the part of the route that is still closed off to traffic coming into town as far as i'm aware of Ooh. look at all these coyotes no they're like are are, 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 are they just yeah. random dogs they are random dogs are they wild dogs i don't think we have wild dogs they're up beautiful. here they're, they're huskies right yep that's what they look like and they, and, they, and they didn't have a collar. No, they didn't. How awesome would that be if that's what our wild dogs look like? No, oh, that would be awesome. <laughs> but we just got those grimy looking coyotes. <laughs> They're cute though. Some of them are. Especially the babies. So one of these days here soon, because I've been getting requests for it, we're gonna walk through this this area is called Boulder Bay Park. I don't know why they shut down the parking lot all winter season. It doesn't make any sense to me. But yeah. Boulder it's kind of hard to walk through it now. No, because the city clears off the sidewalk. They've done it every other year. All, all other seven years I've lived here. And it's not too hard to snow plow out a driveway. A big parking lot so yeah it's just it's just frustrating it's just that's that's one of the most beautiful spots in town and again I want you guys who are watching to have the best time possible and when uh, I, I, I just I honestly I don't see why they've kept it closed all, all winter when it's a huge tourist magnet So we are entering the snowiest part of the valley. Don't don't get that confused with the snowiest part of town. The snowiest part of town are some parts in Upper Moon Ridge, but for the for the valley floor up here, this we are entering the snowiest part, and this is where the road was closed down. Right here, all the way, all the way to Snow Valley. So let's see how far we can go here. It's gonna be interesting to see you guys. Ooh, look at that little waterfall there. Where? It, we passed oh. it, but it's like coming out of under Oh the, man, that's a bummer. It's really cool. Obviously it's... From the, from the snow, mm -hmm. our recent snow, but it's not it's something... Great. Yeah. It's and like it's coming out of the...
I'm inter interested to see once again when we get to the dam what the what it looks like on the other side of the intersection. It does look beautiful. It's all blue and flowy over there. And then green and, then and, and green yeah, green and green and musky over here. When I first moved up here, that China Island thing was underwater. I mean, you know, there was water there. Now, not so much. Now you can practically walk to it. So you guys, as, 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 as you saw yesterday, we went to one side of town where there was no snow left for the most part. Now we're on this side where there's still quite a bit. And we're getting a couple raindrops. Raindrops keep falling on my head. still closed I think right there's cones up there you know what, guys we're just gonna drive up there just to see because from this point on at this stoplight it was like a five-foot wall of snow as far as the eye could see it, it's closed the gates closed oh yeah road closed look at that you guys the gate coming into town is closed. And this is the... I'm leaving. Just need some bolt cutters and you're good. <laughs> I'm just kidding, guys. Don't even think about it. Don't even think about it. I got really excited for a second, thinking, oh my gosh, I'm going to be able to tell them some great news. But yeah, as you can see, we are getting a little drizzle right now. It's 41 degrees. So many little natural waterfalls throughout the rocks. Yeah, from the rain. So and, yeah. So driving back this way, I know we just recorded this, but <laughs> this is, it's, it really is a completely different perspective when you're watching video going both ways. And I thought you might be interested in seeing what most of you are used to seeing and are expecting to see because driving up here this is what you see this is the direction you guys come in 90 percent of you guys come into this town on this road right here this is our most heavily traveled highway into town highway 18 on the front side it is it's beautiful up here though isn't it amazing the contrast between this side of town and the other, which has no snow. There's still so much snow over here. And it's the same elevation, you guys, and it's just in from one side to the complete up the complete other side, it's eight eight miles. Seven and a half, eight miles. It's not it's not a huge distance, so to have such a dramatic difference in the snow amounts is remarkable to me. How fun would it be to go on a hike right now? It wouldn't. <laughs> it wouldn't be fun at all because of the deep snow. I want to go snowshoeing. Have that fun. Yeah. I did that in Utah at um, not Canyonlands National Park, even though I've, I've, I've been to all the national parks in Utah, but I can't remember it's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful national park. Um, they all are out there, but this one was my favorite. Can't remember the name of it. Clearly, I loved it. Why am I spacing it? All right, we're 
about to technically enter the Big Bear Lake area. Here's a popular hiking trail right here. I, I believe that's it, right? Or is, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, what's it called again? trail yes trail for sure, for sure. <laughs> um man just brain farts all morning do you have your phone with you no. okay because that trail that we just passed on the right hand side it's about a mile and a half round trip, but at, at the very top, it's got amazing views of the lake and the whole valley. And it is known as one of our best trails. Most traveled trails as well. I need to... Passing Boulder Bay. <clears throat> How's everyone doing today? Are you guys having a great day? Hope so. Hope you guys get a chance to come up here. Um, we're nearing the end of our season. <clears throat> we could really use all of your support. Um, the business owners, the employees, everyone would be very, very grateful to have you guys come up here. We need y'all. We need y'all. those dogs again. Oh, they made it all the way down here already. There's one of them. Maybe that is something wild because there were four There's of them four together of them. up there. They're too freaky. That's what I'm thinking too, but bears are too cute to be wild, but they're That's all wild. <laughs> so you come up close with them and then they're not so cute. They're adorable <laughs> as they're ripping you apart. <laughs> Where did they go? Well, they're way up oh, here. They were farther up? Or yeah, they yeah, they were, they, were, they were further up here. At one of the hotels I've stayed at, you guys can check it out on the lodging part of this place. It wasn't one of my favorite, but I but I enjoyed it. I rented their, their five bedroom spot. It was just me in a five bedroom little spot. But that's what I was originally doing on, on the channel is saving up to stay at, at the biggest, nicest, amenities that these places offer and there it's not back then guys it was not nearly the prices that it is today i think i paid like 250 bucks for the night <clears throat> yeah as you can see we're continuing to get drizzle and it's just gonna continue getting a little heavier throughout the day so actually it was back there, babe. It's uh, oh. yeah, I yeah, I got I got I, I got confused. It wasn't too far from where we saw saw that dog. It, it was a little bit before. I do too. If you guys know anything about if we do have wild packs of dogs up here, I've never heard of it, but uh, let me know in the comments. I would appreciate that. Wild beautiful ones I think I think they were part husky and part something else so straight ahead this is a place where you pay to go sledding it's called the Alpine slide at Magic Mountain and they've got a little roller coaster the mine shaft it's a lot of fun you control your speed so you can fully let loose and haul some serious buns or you can uh, be a little more conservative on the ride and enjoy the views. But most of the youngsters are going to want to go faster. <clears throat> the 
first time I ever went, I went super fast. The second time, I took it with you. Yeah, I did the same thing. Both are really fun to do. As I told you guys, I'm, I want to help as many businesses as I can. Don't get gas at that Chevron right there. Do not. The reason being is that it's like a dollar more than the rest of our gas stations up here, always. Because it's the first one you hit when you enter town. Um, and as I said, 90% of you go that route. So a lot of people will just stop there. Um, once again, I, I'm just trying to help you guys out. It's already very expensive up here. So if I can save you guys, you know, 70 bucks on a tank of gas <laughs> that helps this is where i wanted to take my wife and stay for a few nights they're offering great prices right now like like 110 a night and it's right on the lake lake views and everything but anyway we got to stop in here real quickly guys i think this is going to be it for the video hope you all enjoyed thank you for taking the ride with us to see the update on what's going on with our snow and uh once we start getting some weather later on this afternoon i will be posting a video for that take care guys say bye baby bye baby <laughs> hope you guys have a great day we like will... subscribe share yes like and subscribe and share please share guys with people you like <laughs> <laughs> and subscribe with the people you like <laughs> hopefully i'm one of them <laughs> thanks again you guys have a great day once again as i said we will be seeing you shortly i'm going to be posting another video as soon as we start getting some more precipitation because i was able to catch the drizzle in this video i like to any change we get to go back out and start doing some more recording so we don't have to go do a video for this drizzle because it already started love you guys it's march 15th 2023 in big bear california bye